the craziness of free agency has finally died down, so it's time to take a breath and take stock of the Eagles' free agents. So far, several birds from the 2018 team have resigned, others have signed. Elsewhere and plenty are still on the open market, here's a complete look brought back Brandon Graham, Graham never made it to free agency, signing a three-year, $40 million deal before the new league year. Just the first two years of the contract are guaranteed, but it was still a nice payday for the 30-year-old defensive end, Ronald Darby, he's still rehabbing from a torn ACL, but Darby is back for the 2019 season to join a crowded cornerback room. His deal is reportedly worth $8.5 million. There's some question as to whether or not he'll be ready for the opener, Paul Warillo. Warillo didn't make it to free agency either. The veteran linebacker was resigned back in January. He tore his ACL early in OTAs, so he's far along and could factor into the linebacker rotation. Nate Sudfeld, the Eagles slapped a second-round tender on the restricted free agent. It all but guarantees he'll be back for 2019 at a salary just north of $3 million. Rick Lovato, the long snapper signed a one-year deal. He was an exclusive rights free agent, Jake Elliott Ditto. Elliott signed a one-year deal too, signed elsewhere Golden Tate. Tate talked a lot about wanting to win, but then cashed out with a four-year, $37.5 million deal to join the directionless Giants. He spent just half a season with the Birds, but will now see them twice per season for the next several years. Jordan Hicks, the Eagles would have welcomed Hicks back, but not with the deal he got. Hicks signed a four-year, $34 million contract to join the Arizona Cardinals. It includes $20 million guaranteed for the former third-round pick Jordan Matthews. Matthews' second stint as an Eagle came to a close when he agreed to a one-year deal with the 49ers. The Eagles brought back Nelson Aguilar for $9.4 million and he will be their slot receiver. Nick Foles, the inevitable happened and Foles is no longer an Eagle. He got a huge four-year, $88 million contract with over $50 million guaranteed with the Jaguars. At least he left the NFC. Still available Jay Ajayi, he's recovering from an ACL tear and had knee issues before the injury, but Ajayi might be a cheap option for 2019. We'll see where he ends up but the Eagles will at least know how his recovery is going. Hello Dinata, the 35-year-old played better down the stretch, but he wasn't worth the $3 million the Eagles paid him in 2018. Can't imagine he'll be back, Mike Wallace, for a while, I thought maybe Wallace would be back on a cheap deal. But after trading for Deshaun Jackson, the Eagles have found their deep threat, DJ. Alexander, Alexander was a key special teams contributor when healthy, but he missed four games in 2018. He is a former special teams pro bowler, but the addition of LJ. Fort might not bode well for the 27-year-old's chances to return. Still a chance though, Leroy Reynolds, another special teams linebacker, at least Reynolds played limited snaps on defense in 2018. Wouldn't be the worst thing to bring him back Darren Sproles, Sproles is 35 now and his initial plan was to retire. We haven't heard otherwise yet, but we know he was thinking about one more season. Doug Peterson said he would welcome Sproles back, but I wouldn't count on that happening. Richard Rodgers, the Eagles might sign a veteran tight end to be their third behind Zacherts and Dallas Godert, so Rodgers is still a possibility. But maybe the Eagles would be happy with Josh Perkins or Will Ty, who are already on the roster. Chance Warmack, the Eagles need depth on the interior of their line, but I don't want to hear the collective groan from all Eagles fans if they bring Warmack back. Corey Graham, my guess is Graham finally retires. He was really close after the 2017 season and I think this time it sticks. Tim Jernigan, the Eagles didn't pick up Jernigan's option, a move that saved them $7 million in cap space. Perhaps they could bring him back on a cheaper deal, but Malik Jackson is definitely the new starter next to Fletcher Cox. Chris Maragos, a significant knee injury suffered in 2017 kept Maragos out all of last season and he needed another surgery late in the year. 
heck you've a career for an undrafted safety. Stefan Wisniewski, the Eagles declined Wiz's option and will save $3 million because of it. He's on the market and maybe he'll find that starter job he's been coveting since he arrived to Philadelphia. Click here to download the My Teams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Flyers, Sixers and Phillies games easily on your device. More on the Eagles.